that's him. You are looking at your great-great-grandfather, James Henry Dixon. It's Ooh. difficult to make out, but that's, that is your biological great-great-grandfather. Now, I'd have fought you five <laughs> minutes ago if you told me that I had a white great-great-grandfather. You do. You could fight me, but it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't nothing you can do about it. What? Kunta! Kunta. Got white ancestry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What? Boom! Butterfly in the sky. Race grift in a pie. Shove it up your eye. Take that, LeVar Burton scumbag. Take a look at this delicious taste of irony where you've got a race grifter. A beloved race... This motherfucker was from Reading Rainbow and Star Trek. And everybody hates you now, you dumb asshole. Except for all of the race grifters. They love you because... Give me reparations, you cocksuckers! I'm black! I'm so my dope, I'm black, and I'm gay, and I'm lesbian, and I'm in a wheelchair, and I got that Michael Jackson disease or some stupid shit. Give me money, give me money, you fucking cracker, slavery, slavery. Okay, no, I'm not giving you anything, you can go fuck yourself, how about that? By the way, uh, butterfly in the sky, give yourself your own reparation eyes, because that's you, idiot. <laughs> oh, no, 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 what happened? LeVar Burton stud to discover ancestors served with confederacy on finding your roots. It, it, it just keeps happening. And of course it keeps happening. Here you have LeVar Burton trying to maintain relevancy in our civilization at this time. Not by embracing Reading Rainbow or fucking Star Trek, but no. He said, I'm black and fuck you white people. You owe me money because of slavery. And then you find out that his great-great-great-grandfather was white and a Confederate soldier. You owe me reparations, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> and he gets all indignant about this on the show, of course. Instead of saying, oh, that's really interesting. Holy shit. History is uh, full of surprises. He goes, I would have fought you. If you would have said I had any of that cracker taint blood inside my Wakandan-esque Energon husk of a body over here, I'd have fight you. Because there's nothing worse than having cracker blood inside you. What the? This seems all wildly racist, by the way. <laughs> it just seems crazy racist. I can't possibly be racist. I'm black. Not according to your 23andMe, cocksucker. It's weird how that works. I would have fought you if you would have said I had any white people blood in me. I would have fought you. See, the, how does how, how do you normies out there not understand this entire rhetoric that used to be revolved around what we called CRT, but we've destroyed CRT. So they don't want to say CRT anymore. So now they want to say D-I-E. Whoops. <laughs> Diversity, equity, and inclusion, Grift. They just want to shove this in your face, and, and normies are finally understanding that this is a weapon. It's a weapon. I can't give you slavery reparations today because, number one, I don't own any fucking slaves. I never did. My family wasn't even here when slavery was abolished in this country, by the way. Thank you, white people. And you were never a slave. And then it gets real fucking muddy and entangled considering there's a shit ton of black people who are the descendants of Confederate soldiers, by the way, that you hate so much. So maybe instead of ripping down statues and telling everybody how much America sucks and everything, maybe we sit there and we say, here are the mistakes that we've made in the past. Let's make sure that we never make them again in the future. And let's make this better. You don't want to do that. No, 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 no. That has nothing to do with any of this race nonsense coming out of any of these institutions that have been hijacked by cultural Marxists. It's a weapon. It's meant to shut everybody down of a political nature. LeVar Burton don't give a fuck about conservative black dudes. No, no, no. All, isn't it fascinating? Every conservative black dude out there is an Uncle Tom race traitor. To you white motherfuckers, by the way. It's weird. And, of course, you know, black race grifters like this fucking scumbag over here. Now, they don't care about black people. They don't care about gay people. Once you become a gay conservative or a black conservative or an Asian conservative... Then they fucking hate you. It has nothing to do with race, skin color, sexual orientation. It has to do with your political persuasion. That's what it is at the end of the day. All the race baiting, the CRT, the DIE, the DEI, however you want to do it, is all a fucking weapon to be used as a political cudgel to silence opposition. And it's about time everybody wakes up and says, go fuck yourself. 
I don't care about what happened in 1619, and I sure the fuck ain't responsible for it, and I sure the fuck ain't giving you reparations. Go do a 23 and me. Come back to me, and we're going to find out. The guy in, the, in this thing for this show, Finding Your Roots, he goes, yeah, man, it's weird. Uh, every black person that we've tested, uh, 99.999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999